much shorter. Now let's see what kind of bridge that makes. Can this larger bridge hold my weight? Let's find out. Bridges. Most of them need supports, bolts, screws, nails, and anything to hold them together. But what if you didn't need supports? What if the bridge supported itself? Leonardo da Vinci invented the self-supporting bridge sometime between 1485 and 1487 to be used as an emergency bridge for troops in times of war. I mean, it's truly genius, right? Like, you don't have to support the bridge, the bridge supports itself. Who would have thought, right? So this bridge works by just folding these pieces of wood, any piece of wood, in a certain pattern which makes the bridge hold itself up. And it goes something like this. Boom, look at that bridge that supports itself that fast. What? You can make this bridge with one ingredient, wood. Now I want to make this bridge on a larger scale, so I went to Home Depot and got some larger pieces of wood. So I'm going to make a large version of this so you guys can see exactly how this is made. So it starts off with a piece there and a piece across from it. Cross brace. What the heck? Look at that. Look at that. There's a raccoon right there. What the heck? Why is there a rack? Resume. Then you put the side pieces over top of another cross piece. And then two more pieces that stick out inside of the other pieces. You get another cross piece and you slide it up just like that and the bridge is now off the ground. And now we're basically back at the beginning where you have your H here, you put the center piece, put a cross piece underneath both sides. Now it does help to build this bridge on a level surface and this is definitely not level, it is sloping down. So hold the bridge flat while it's being built. I've got this piece of wood in place. Now you put your outside pieces on and this next piece you lift at the center, slide it under. Now all you gotta do is keep repeating this process and the bridge will continue to lift off the ground as it covers a larger area. Now, this bridge obviously is not very high off the ground, approximately seven inches. So with long sticks like these, well, this is meant for reaching across a very large area. If you shorten up these sticks and make it shorter, well, then it's gonna arch sooner and you'll only have like a five foot bridge, but it'll be much steeper. So what I'm going to do is cut those pieces in half, make another one, and then you'll see how the arch completely changes and it'll probably be able to hold more weight as well. Do you have Instagram? Because if you do, you can follow me there at KB underscore King Builds. Or you can just search King Builds, it might come up, maybe. If not, I'll leave a link in the description of this video. You just click there and it takes you right there. I mean, easy peasy, man, easy peasy. All right, so I turned most of these into these, much shorter. Now let's see what kind of bridge that makes. Two parallel across from each other, and you get two more. Slide the cross brace up. Okay, this might be a little bit trickier than I expected. Oh, look at that. It can hold my weight. There we go. So that is what happens when you cut the boards in half. It makes a much taller bridge in a shorter distance, and it's... <laughs> I was literally about to say, wow, this is strong. So I found out that it's a different way you're supposed to put the boards across so that when you do put weight on and the bridge flexes, that the boards don't fall off the edge. So let me try that again. So I think what you're supposed to do when you put this board on, you want it to overlap a little bit on that side. And what you're supposed to do here is actually push this board up further. Now what gets tricky here is when you do make a bridge this steep, the piece is just, this piece just wants to like slide off right now. So, oh boy. I believe one of the things that's making this more tricky is the fact that this wood is so smooth and that it can just slide on another piece of wood so easily. But if you make this with sticks that have bumps on the outside, I think it'd be easier. Okay, so I have an idea. I'm thinking I can use the small pieces and half of the big pieces I have left to make a skinny bridge that is longer. Let's try that. All right, so this worked much better and I believe this is actually the proper way to make it. So you have these overlapping much further. You have this one set up there, this one set down here a little bit more, and then you offset them on those corners too. You can see since it is overlapped, it has more room to flex without popping off the edges. There's a big version, there's a small version. Now here's an experiment. How much weight can this bridge hold before it breaks or will it just go flat? Let's find out. Okay, so we got the small bridge here and I got some various objects and we're gonna place it on the bridge to see what happens. This right here is just a small piece of metal. 
Okay, it moved a little bit. Oh, it moved. Now I don't think, th these are pretty heavy earmuffs. I don't think it's gonna hold this, but it's worth a shot. Wow, look at that. The bridge is just flexing, but it's actually taking the weight. Let's see if it holds that. Wow. To be honest with you guys, I'm actually really impressed by that. Look, the bridge is still hovering. So if this was a if this was a canyon or like a huge valley or a hole and there's like a bunch of crocodiles and alligators and big monsters, you'd be surviving on this bridge. The bridge is just flexing and it's not it hasn't collapsed. So remember, these are shims, so it's skinny on one side and then it gets thick on the other side. So if this was thick all the way across, it'd be holding much more weight, but these are just thin pieces of wood on the one end and the bridge slowly comes back up. And there you go, the bridge is back to normal. So the second question is, can this larger bridge hold my weight? Let's find out. Oh, it's flexing big time. And it's already all crooked, these boards. It's still hovering. Okay, so right now I'm on the bridge. It's still got like a few inches off the ground right now. I don't know if you can see that there, but that bridge is still hovering. And now it's gonna be it's almost, yeah, it's okay, it's touching the ground. If I bounce it, it touches the ground. Well, that right there is pretty impressive, guys. I mean, it basically held my weight. If there was a hole underneath that bridge, well, it'd be fine. It would just, it just bend down just a little bit, but it didn't snap, didn't break, didn't come apart. So that's pretty good. So it really is fascinating how this self-supporting bridge works and how if you use sticks or something round that is much thicker and could hold more weight, you could actually use that to cross something if you need it. Definitely a genius invention by Leonardo da Vinci. If you guys enjoyed this type of video, make sure to give it a like. And if you want, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified when the next video comes out. That way you can stay up to date when you see cool projects like this, you can watch it. More information, cool builds and crazy ideas all on this channel. So make sure to subscribe. Do you have Instagram? Because if you do, you can follow me there at KB underscore King Builds. Or you can just search King Builds, it might come up, maybe. If not, I'll leave a link in the description of this video. You just click there and it takes you right there. I mean, easy peasy, man, easy peasy. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.